My name is Roger Williams. I own an engine shop here in St. Paul, Indiana by the name of Williams Precision Engines and uh, we specialize in building all kinds of high performance engines for race cars and hot rods all shapes and sizes. Um, I'm also the proud driver of the, uh, this number 32 uh, E3 sponsored Great American Stock car, uh, primarily driven at Salem Speedway, Salem, Indiana. Um, the good folks at E3 asked me to answer a few of your questions for you. If I pick your question and I answer it and make a video of it, you get a free set of spark plugs. Um, this month, uh, a lady by the name of Holly sends in a question, and uh, I thought it was a pretty good one. Uh, what is the importance of a spark plug? I thought that was fitting, and um, there's actually more to a spark plug than what a lot of people think, so I thought I'd go uh, uh, take you on a little journey, and we'll talk about it. Spark plugs have an important task to perform in your engine. They produce an electrical spark that ignites the mixture of fuel and air in your engine's combustion chambers, causing the pistons to move up and down. This movement of pistons is what ultimately gets the car's wheels moving. So this little spark is a critical part of the whole process and initiates the combustion in your internal combustion engine. The spark plug is quite simple in theory. It forces electricity to arc across the gap, just like a bolt of lightning. The electricity must be at a very high voltage in order to travel across the gap and create a good spark. Voltage of the spark plug can be anywhere from 40,000 to 100,000 volts. A spark plug must have an insulated passageway for this high voltage to travel down to the electrode where it can jump the gap and from there be conducted into the engine block and grounded. The plug also has to withstand the extreme heat and pressure inside the cylinder and must be designed so that the deposits from fuel additives do not build up on the plug. Spark plugs use a ceramic insert to isolate the high voltage at the electrode, ensuring that the spark happens at the tip of the electrode and not anywhere else in the plug. This insert does double duty by helping to burn off deposits. Ceramic is a fairly poor heat conductor so the material gets quite hot during operation. This heat helps burn off the deposits from the electrode. Some cars require a hot plug. This type of plug is designed with a ceramic insert that has a smaller contact area with the metal part of the plug. This reduces the heat transfer from the ceramic, making it run hotter and thus burn away more deposits. Cold plugs are designed with more, more contact area, so they run cooler. The difference between a hot and cold plug is the shape of the ceramic tip. The car maker will select the right temperature plug for the engine if it is being used as the manufacturer has engineered it to be used. Some cars with high performance engines naturally generate more heat so they need colder plugs. If the spark plug gets too hot it could ignite the fuel before the spark fires so it is important to make good decisions when picking the right type of plug for your car. But like many parts of your engine, spark plugs won't last forever. Every time they fire, the spark removes some of the metal on the plugs, increasing the voltage necessary to fire the next time. Besides age, many other things can cause your spark plugs to wear out. They're subject to a number of forces inside the engine, including heat, gasoline, and oil that can reduce their effectiveness. High performance engines and engines that rev to high RPMs tend to wear out spark plugs quicker than OE stock engines. Well, Holly, I hope that answers your question for you. And the rest of you guys get your questions submitted to me. And uh, if I pick it and read it on the air, you get a free set of spark plugs. Till next time, get out from behind the computer, get out there, work on your hot rod, and I'll see you at the races.